What kind of fight can Jake Paul expect from a Mike Tyson uh, that's energized with LF Go? Constant pressure. Constant in the face all night. Uh, listen, I think he's taking it very, very seriously because his health depends on it. <laughs> and yeah, he's, 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 he's not, he's no way I'm looking at, um, I'm not looking past him, I'm taking him to play there. Mike Tyson has dropped a major update ahead of his fight with Jake Paul, while top boxing promoter Eddie Hearn has strongly criticized the upcoming match, set for November. In an interview with Michael Benson, Hearn made it clear he won't be attending the much-anticipated November 15 rematch between Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. Although he's promoting the event, Hearn's decision comes from deep concerns about Tyson's age and what he considers a dangerous and uneven matchup. Hearn didn't hold back, saying, It's a huge shame that one of the sport's greatest legends is returning to the ring, 20 years after everyone agreed he should retire. He's 58 years old. That's dangerous. Hearn highlighted that putting a veteran like Tyson up against a 27-year-old like Jake Paul not only disrespects the sport, but also risks Tyson's health. While Hearn has criticized celebrity boxing in the past, his concern here goes beyond that. He's primarily worried about Tyson's safety, noting that if something happens, those who allowed it will be responsible. Tyson, now 58, is taking on someone more than 30 years younger, and Hearn believes it's a serious risk to his health. Mike Tyson's health struggles in recent years have already delayed the fight once due to safety concerns, a clear warning sign. Eddie Hearn believes these concerns should not have been ignored. Despite his doubts, the upcoming bout has grabbed attention, not for its sporting value but for its star power. Many view it more as a spectacle than a real competition. As the fight nears, the boxing community is divided. Hearn's warnings resonate with fans and experts who call the matchup reckless and risky. On the other hand, there's a wave of excitement from those eager to see Tyson, a boxing legend, back in the ring against social media star Jake Paul. As November approaches, anticipation is building. Will the Tyson-Paul fight live up to its hype, or will Hearn's concerns prove justified? One thing is certain, this showdown is shaping up to be one of the most controversial boxing events of the year. Meanwhile, Tyson's friend and former trainer, Jeff Fennick, sees the fight differently. Fennick, who worked with Tyson during the later years of his career, including his final bout in 2005, has mixed feelings. While he worries about Tyson stepping back into the ring, he also believes that if Tyson fights smart, it could be an easy win for him. If it were up to me, I'd prefer he didn't fight, Fennec said, but he's going to. If Mike uses his head and plays it right, this could be the easiest win of his career. Fennec also stated that there's no way Paul can handle a punch from Tyson, whether it's a hook, right hand, or uppercut. He added, I love Mike, he's like family to me, and I just hope everything goes well. Tyson's health scare back in May, where he suffered an ulcer flare-up, has some fans worried about his fight next month. However, not everyone shares those concerns. Combat sports icon Quinton Rampage Jackson told TMZ Sports that he's fully behind Tyson. Jackson confidently stated that he wouldn't bet against Mike, even after the health scare that delayed the fight. The highly anticipated fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, originally scheduled for the summer, was rescheduled for November 15 due to Tyson's health scare in May. Despite the setback, Tyson's friend and MMA legend Quinton Rampage Jackson is sticking by him. Mike Tyson is my favorite boxer, Rampage said, acknowledging that while father time is undefeated, he's still backing Tyson, even against a much younger opponent. Anything can happen in the boxing ring, but I'm not betting against Mike. When asked about Tyson's recent comment on Asterisk, Jimmy Kimmel Live Asterisk, where he jokingly hinted at fighting under the influence, Rampage wasn't convinced. I don't know about that, he's probably just talking, Jackson said. He also added that he doesn't think fighters should smoke before a match, as it would hurt rather than help their performance. Still, Rampage is confident Tyson has what it takes to shut that kid up. Excitement is building as Tyson prepares for his return, and UFC star Conor McGregor has even offered some advice to the 58-year-old legend. Despite the fight's unique rules, eight two-minute rounds with 14-ounce gloves, fans are eager to see Tyson, one of the most feared fighters in boxing history, back in the ring. McGregor, known for his outspoken personality, had some strong words for Paul, 
I hope Mike rattles that little dope. No one cares about him. Talk on Tyson, Jake Paul. I actually have Mike Tyson's marijuana. I'm gonna show love to Mike Tyson. Give us in the Mike Tyson Kush. This is Mike Tyson Kush, yeah, straight from his farm. We had someone go out and grab it for us, yeah? Mike Tyson, this is your stock. Don't give a bollocks. They're wearing 14 ounce gloves. It's two minute rounds, is it? Is it two minute rounds? Who gives a bollocks? I hope we rattles that little dope. No one give Mike Tyson recently opened up about the health scare that delayed his fight with Jake Paul. A 58-year-old legend revealed that his ulcer in May was caused by unhealthy eating habits, saying, I was doing too much bad food and stuff, and I got sick. Now, Tyson says he's eating clean, avoiding processed foods, and is ready for the November 15th fight at Acti and t Stadium. However, he admitted that he still struggles with vaping, saying he couldn't escape the vapes. When asked about how this fight might impact his legacy, Tyson made it clear that legacy isn't on his mind. I didn't take this fight for legacy. Legacy, to me, is just ego, Tyson said. Who cares what people think about me when I'm dead? It means nothing. He emphasized that Jake Paul is taking the fight seriously, and Tyson is too. In fact, Tyson mentioned that his energy supplements will help him focus more on breaking his bones. On the flip side, Paul is confident as well. In September, he offered Tyson an extra $5 million if he can last beyond four rounds but with a catch. If Tyson doesn't, you would have to get a tattoo that says, I love Jake Paul. Paul, who has a record of 10 wins and one loss, recently stopped bare-knuckle boxing champion Mike Perry in July, showing he's not to be taken lightly. Despite all this, Tyson admitted that he likes Jake Paul but remains focused on the fight. During an appearance on Asterisk, Jimmy Kimmel Live Asterisk, Tyson said, I like him, but in this fight, he has to go. He acknowledged the seriousness of the challenge ahead, saying, This guy is going to be prepared, but I'm prepared too. Tyson, who last fought in 2005 against Kevin McBride, has been training hard, with long gym sessions and strength conditioning. When asked about the possibility of a knockout, he confidently said, If I don't have to catch him, you can expect a round one knockout. Tyson, now 58, is excited to compete again, particularly at a massive football stadium. I kinda dig being seen by 880,000 people, he said, highlighting the thrill of performing for such a large audience. I feel like I'm gonna take a little break. You know, I, I think no. I've been going... To... <laughs> I'm gonna pull an Aiden Ross and just disappear, hey, man. what the f***, dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go off grid. And sip lean? Yeah. <laughs> probably not that probably not that dude so you're but, down a but yeah you're i don't know what i'm gonna do though i don't know i just like but i'm sorry are you gonna, gonna, keep, my, are you gonna keep are you gonna my keep plan fighting? Is to get, yeah i'm gonna keep fighting for sure but i'm just saying my plan is to get through november 15th have the best performance possible knock mike tyson out and then just see how i'm feeling oh. basically Mike Tyson has stirred excitement for a potential rematch with Jake Paul during an appearance on Asterisk Impulsive Asterisk, the podcast hosted by Logan Paul. Tyson teased the scenario by stating, This is what's going to happen. Two men are going to fight. Someone's going to win. They may fight again. And then they go to their separate banks and life goes on. Paul, brimming with confidence, responded by predicting a victory over Tyson, who retired from professional boxing in 2005. One shot could change the whole fight, Paul said. At the end of the day, there are always going to be critics.